Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going over the new fully aquatic creature that just came out today, as long as well as with the new Gondwa map. Um, and it is the K Kwai. I don't know how to say his name. I forget. But this guy right here, fully aquatic creature, um, looks pretty big and pretty amazing. So this is his balance build. This is his defense minus speed, and then this is his speed minus defense. You can see this one; he looks a lot thinner. Where, you know, the defense one, he's a lot more chunkier. Also, if you guys want to see the showcase or gameplay of the flyer that just came out as well, I did do that in my last video, so you can always go back and check my last video to, f to go play with this guy and see how he's like as well. So obviously, when you spawn in with this guy, you're going to be in the you're gonna be in the ocean, pretty much. And I don't know where they spawn me. Okay, they spawn me down here. Ooh, the oceans are so big and nice. I'm so glad they made this for, um, you know, the aquatics. I feel like on Pandora, this guy will just be really bored at the time, just being in the big lake the whole time. So it's nice to have actual room to explore. And now with the buff to all the semi-aquatics as well, the, I don't know if you guys don't know, the semi-aquatics did get a 60% speed buff. And now the aquatic scene on this map is going to be insane. So this is how the Kiwi, I'm just going to call it the Kai. This is how the Kai looks. And he, he honestly looked pretty cool. I can't get a front view because the camera automatically turns when I try to look at his face. But you can see how he looks. I mean, look like he's bobbing his head around. Um, fairly big. I, I don't have nothing to compare him to right now because we are in single player. So I can't compare him to other dinos. But I can do that in a separate video. But I'm glad to say that we do have the stats numbers on this guy. So I do have his stats. So his health, he has 600 health. Which is the same amount of health as a Dasp. But a little bit less health than a Meg. A Meg has 650 health. Or this guy has 600. He has 3,000 combat weight. So he's not as heavy as I thought he was going to be. But 3,000 weight. He's the same size as a Alio Ramis. Now when it comes to his swimming speed. There's no stats for his swimming speed yet. So I don't know how fast he really is in water. But if we test it out right now. This is his full sprint and it does not seem that fast i'm pretty sure probably every other aquatic can swim faster than this guy as well um you have to keep track of his oxygen because he does have an oxygen bar so you can't be underwater forever um so you would have to go and gasp with some air oxygen bar does seem to go down slow though so that is a thing um stamina bar seems to go down moderately nothing too fast or crazy as far as regaining stamina i don't know if you could lay down on the ocean floor we're gonna test that out right now and see how his stamina regen is. So right now we're half, we lost half of our stamina bar. So we're gonna go and see if we can lay down here. Um. Okay. Okay, we're kind of bugged out here and just floating, but you can lay down. And it seems like my stamina bar refilled like instantly. I didn't even see it go up. I must have missed it. But yeah, okay. Apparently you can lay down. I don't know if you could lay down mid air. Let me see if you can. All right, no, so you have to be on the ground. Now, when it comes to his skins, ooh, that's I like this one. He has some pretty decent, not the best ones. I mean, some of them I actually like because they're more like realistic type of skins, like nice design. Some of them are just mostly basic. Um, the albino one, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the albino skin on any dino. For his abilities, it seems to be more basic. So for the head attack, you have a regular bite that does medium damage. His bite attack does 40 damage with 3,000 combat weight, 40 damage. Not that good, but, you know, anything your size or lower will probably take a good amount of damage. For hide, you have streamline, so if you want to increase your swimming speed, you can do that. Metabolism, you have scavenger, you can eat meat, fish, and bones and stuff, or you can just eat meat and fish. And then for legs, you have beachcomber and barrel roll. So beachcomber improves land speed, time allowed on land, and stamina regen while on land. Wait, these things can go on land? Oh, I feel stupid. I wish I knew that from the beginning of the video. We're gonna test that out in a few. And then we have the barrel roll, which is a quickly dart forward in a roll, damaging things in your path. And the barrel roll does up to 75 damage. So that's actually pretty good. I don't know how that works, but we're definitely gonna see that as well. And then for tail, he has the lunge, where you can lunge forward when in water, but I don't think it does any damage. It's more of like a getaway tool or just to travel faster type of thing. So I honestly had no idea these things go on land. I am here thinking they're fully aquatic, but let's find out here. Oh my god. You guys don't under... Okay, so this is how you would regain stamina. Just chilling on the beach. But they move so slow. Oh my god. Like, literally, this is the full speed right now on land. I think... I'm not even able to actually go to sleep. No, never mind. You can't recover stamina on land. You have to go in the water. Interesting. I don't see the point of why you would go on land, though, with this guy. Seems like you don't have to worry about your drinking or water levels when you're in the water. We're going to put on a beachcomber, which improves his land speed and time allowed on land. So we're going to see how that is as well. 
and I want to see if there's a difference between that and having this on. So if we can go on land now. I mean, he is a little bit faster. He's still slow. Kind of like the Ophis. He's like the Ophis on land. Stamina does drop fairly quickly. Again, like I said, I don't see the point of even going on land with this guy. Unless you really need like a corpse maybe for food. But other than that, yeah, I would probably keep your ass in the water. All right, so now we're going to test out his moves real quick. So he has the regular biting that I can't really get a view of. And then he has the barrel roll. That one seems pretty cool. And then he has the lunge. Oh, it's like a 360 type of lunge. I like it. Like he just rolls over while doing it. That's pretty cool. But otherwise, it's pretty basic. Um, otherwise, like, like I said, scenery wise, to just swim around in this thing, it's actually really nice. The fact that he can go on land is pretty cool if you want to just chill by the beach. Um, other than that, though, he's nothing crazy, nothing too special, but it is a cool addition to have to the game. I'm personally more excited for the flyer, but if you guys are excited for this creature as well, hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think of him, what do you think is the best build for him, and what you think they can do to make him a little bit better, or just your opinions overall. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the future videos. Peace.